Hi everyone, this is Brett Endy's The Dog Savant, dogtrainingla.com. So I'm here down in Hollywood with Max, and Max has a little bit of an issue with vehicles. So I've got him here on a busy road, and we're going to work on teaching him how to make a calmer, more filtered association so he learns how not to have to react as a coping mechanism when he encounters this kind of stimulation. Put that you know, in a place, you see how he's getting nervous trying to avoid when he feels it's getting closer. He also has an issue of building up the amount of time he can handle around cars and more intense distractions. So we want to work on that as well. So by putting Max in a command, it creates a filter of sorts. It gets him to process the information around him in a less intense way, therefore making a calmer association to replace the old overstimulated ones he used to make. Uh, in this case, it's gonna be as cars are going by. So what he's learned is that when he's in a command, A, he feels better, B, he can see everything more at face value than having the sensory overload effect, which is of course what triggers his reaction. So the whole point of that video is you want to expect more from your dog. You don't want to accept their behaviors at face value and think that nothing's ever going to change. Yes, some dogs have more of a potential to be hypersensitive and reactive to external stimuli. Yes, some dogs were not taught properly as puppies, but all dogs can grow. All dogs can learn if you understand the theories of sensory processing and how to make these calmer, more accepting, neutral type of associations to replace the old ones. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'm the Dog Savant, dogtrainingla.com. Subscribe and love your dog. Bye.